Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And we are going to be installing the rollback flatbed script. All right. This is um, actually we are going to be installing the script as well as the Freightliner M2 Crew Cab flatbed add-on, all right? So um, when you get to these links, uh, the first one is going to be the Rollback Flatbed Script. Uh, this is made by I'm Not Mental. What you want to do is scroll down, read the description first, and then after you're done reading the description, you want to come and download the current, which is 1.5 current. You want to select the green arrow to download. After you downloaded this, you want to go to the next link. That will be Freightliner M2 Crew Cab Flatbed Add-on Script. All right. Um, this one, you want to come down, read the description. After you're done reading the description, you want to come over and download the current where it says 1.1A Current. You want to select the green arrow to download. All right. Now let's get into the requirements. What you will need is script hook V and community script hook v.net all right uh, we will be installing all of these links that i just showed today and there's one other link um, that will lead you to a video and it's for open four okay you will need also open four if you don't have it installed i have a link down in the description showing you how to install open four all right so once you have all of these links downloaded and open four installed it should look something like this on my left hand side i have a empty folder with the downloads that we just downloaded i have a flatbed script i had a freightliner m2 flatbed add-on i have a script hook v and script hook v.net on my right hand side i have grant that photo file directory opened up and on Inside of our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, what we are going to need is a mods folder, okay? So if you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods, all in low caps, okay? Once you have done that, what you need to do is go to the update folder and copy this entire folder. Then go back into your mods folder, open your mods folder, and paste your update folder inside the mods folder. All right. Once you have done that, go ahead and open the update folder. Then open the X64 folder. Then open the DLC packs folder. Now let's go back over to our downloads. Let's go ahead and start off with the Freightliner M2 flatbed. Open that up. Now we are going to go to uh take this folder right here that says flatbed m2 we're going to drag and drop this one folder right here into our dlc packs just like so all right now that that has been uh dragged and dropped let's go back to our grand theft photo 5 directory by selecting grand theft photo 5 right here or just selecting the back arrow to go back once you get back to the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, the next thing that we need is a scripts folder, okay? So if you don't have a scripts folder, go ahead and create a new folder and name it scripts. Just like this, all in low caps. Once you have that created, go ahead and open up your scripts folder. Now let's go back over to our downloads. What we need to do is go back now let's open up our flatbed script folder okay we are going inside our flatbed script folder now open that one up inside there is going to be another folder that says to your scripts folder all right let's open up that folder now we are going to highlight all of these files right here that i have highlighted you're going to take all these files i have highlighted drag and drop these into your uh, scripts folder Right, I'm gonna drag and drop them into your scripts folder. After you've done that, what you want to do is go back to your downloads, then select back, 
back again. Now we are going to go back into our Freightliner M2 flatbed folder. Open up that folder. Inside that folder is going to be a folder that says scripts. Okay, open up the scripts folder. Now it's going to be one folder that says flatbed. We are going to drag and drop this whole folder right here. Drag and drop it right here into our scripts folder. It's going to say, um, do you want to replace the file in the destination? Select yes to replace the file in the destination. Once that is done, let's uh, go ahead and go back to our uh, downloads. But before we do that, let's select Grand Theft Auto 5 to go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Now let's go back to our downloads. Select back, back again. Now let's install our script hook V, open up script hook V. Now open up the bin folder. And we want to take these two files that I have highlighted. Drag and drop both of these files right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Now let's go back to our downloads. Go back, back again. Now let's open up the script hook V.net folder. Inside that folder, we are going to take all the files that I have highlighted. And we're going to drag and drop all those files I have highlighted into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Alright, now that we have um, installed our scripts, we need to open up our Open 4 so we can add our Freightliner M2 flatbed add-on to our DLC list. So go ahead and open up your Open 4. All right, I have my open four opened up right here on my right hand side. What we need to do now is uh, first, before we do anything, make sure that you have your edit mode turned on inside your open four. It's this little button right here. Select it to make sure it's on. It will be highlighted blue, all right? Once that is on, you wanna come over here to the update folder in the column. You wanna select the update folder. Then you wanna select update.rpf. You will be greeted with a red banner. It will say copy to mods folder. Go ahead and select copy to mods folder. Once it has been copied to mods folder, go ahead and select common, then data, and scroll down till you find your DLC list.xml. Right click with the mouse and select edit. All right. What you want to do is scroll down till you get to the end. And uh, what you want to do is, um, let me go ahead and erase this real quick. What you want to do is copy the last item line that you have. Whatever is your last item line, just copy it. So put the cursor behind that last line. Press enter to create a new line. And what we want to do is paste that same line that we copied right there. So now we should have two of the same line. Now let's go over to our downloads and let's go back into our Freightliner M2 flatbed folder. Now let's go ahead and select the flatbed M2 folder and just select it where the name is highlighted. And you want to copy the name. All right, we're just copying the name of this folder. Now we're going to go back to our DLC list and we are going to highlight the name inside of that last item line that we pasted earlier. And now we're going to paste uh, the flatbed name right over it. All right. So now we should have a last item line that says uh, flatbed M2 inside of the item line. Once you have that done, go ahead and select save. All right. Now we can go to select file, close all archives, exit out of open four, minimize any other windows that we have open and run the game. All right, when you spawn in the game, what you wanna do is, um, you're gonna need a trainer, um, some type of menu. I'm gonna be using a um, simple trainer. So I'm gonna go down to vehicle spawning, go to added vehicles menu, and we wanna select the MTL flatbed utility. 
right? There we go. When you select it, you will see the you will see the controls at the top. Okay, so I suggest to really read those controls at the top before they disappear, <laughs> so you know what to do. I'm on the controller, so uh, for the controller, you press uh, RB, which is the top right shoulder button, and you want to hold that down while you press um, down on the D-pad to extend the flatbed, and then press up on the D-pad to uh, bring in the flatbed. All right. So right now we're extending the flatbed, and when it gets far enough, you'll start to see this uh, marker displaying on the ground it'll be like a light green marker if you look at the car it's right underneath the, my car right now all right so once you have that uh, under your car what you want to do is get out of the truck and you want to come over to the car once you um, for me, I have to get in the car, so once you get in the car, if you look at the top left, it says press A to load the car. So I press A on the controller to load the car, and then your character will automatically walk to the front of the car, and they will hook up the cord. If you look, there's a cord right there. And um, you move your character out the way after they hook the car up with the cord, and voila, you'll see the flatbed start to pull the car onto the flatbed once it is all the way on we can go back in the truck hold the uh, RB the right shoulder button press uh, up on the d-pad and there you go now we just go ahead and take off and uh, drive to wherever we want to drop off our car. Alright, so say like we wanted to drop off the car over here. What we would do is we'll drop it up like right here. Seems cool right there. Alright, wherever you want to drop it off. Uh, you want to go ahead and press um, RB and up or no down on the D-pad. Extends it out. All right. Once it touches the ground, you're pretty much all good. Now what we want to do is walk over to the car. Once we get over on the side of the car, there's going to be instructions at the top to press the button to unload the car. Go ahead and press that button. You will see your character uh, go ahead and automatically get inside the car. Once the car turns on, you're all good to back up the car off of the flatbed. And then uh, you're all good from there. Jump back inside the flatbed. flatbed in the back all right and that is it and the inside looks really good too inside of the truck inside looks really good shout out to the uh, author of um, of this truck also the creator of uh, the flatbed the, the was just a freight freight liner or whatever it is shout out to the creator of it though man he did a good job on this one well all right y'all that's going to do it for me right now we're going to end the video right here um if everybody enjoyed the video or if this helped y'all out to install it feel free to smash that like button and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this is Games of Graphics, me and Big Ball and Ass Frank. We are out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.